Hey guys, Happy New Year, Happy 2013, can't believe uh, time has been flying as quick as it has been. Uh, 2012 saw a great year in the industry of smartphones, uh, be it Android, uh, iOS, or Windows Phone. Now you got BlackBerry 10, which is about to be released. However, over here, I have the Nexus 4. Uh, this has been my daily driver uh, since I purchased it about a month and a half ago, and I immediately uh, flashed CM10 on it the moment I received it. Now... I'm going to go ahead and do a video here on how to exactly flash CM10, uh, CM10.1 actually, onto your Nexus 4 uh, to go ahead and get the features that the uh, Cyanogen Mod ROM goes, uh, gives you. Now, a lot of people may be asking, what's the point of flashing CM10 when you've already got a stock build directly from Google on the Nexus? Well, there's a few advantages. Number one, battery life. Uh, battery life on this uh, ROM, CM10.1, the Mako build, is a lot better than the stock build. Um, I can attest to that. I've done numerous tests and the battery life is just seemingly better. Now, what else? You get customizations. As you can see, you can customize your home screen uh, to have a certain amount of icons per row. As you can see, I have five. Again, you can't do that on stock unless you have a, a custom launcher installed. Um, I, this is stock Trebuchet launcher is what it uses. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of features. You know, the same. If, if you go to my Galaxy S3 video with the CM10 build on it, you can see that it's pretty much the same features. You know, the home screen. You can. Uh, Hide icon labels, you can adjust the grid size, default screen, you can adjust the dock, uh, you can mess with the drawer, um, you know, general uh, auto rotate full screen mode, I mean, it takes away the notification basically. Uh, you got the flip secondary notification right there. Uh, you can also, you can also, um, customize this to your liking and add and, and remove whatever it is that you like. You got the quick toggles up here. Again, you can adjust them to your liking. Uh, you got various system options, um, notification, quick settings panel. That's what I just showed you up there on the notification power menu, clock widget, notification light and status bar options. Uh, you also, of course, get performance options, which allows you to overclock and underclock your device. Um, so that's, that's something that's built into the ROM. Let me just go ahead and go back here. Uh, you, of course, also got developer options. And just to go ahead and show you the ROM, it's 4.2.1, Cyanogen Mod. Uh, I believe this is the latest nightly build. And, you know, just to let you know, the nightly builds are quite stable on this device. Uh, the nightly builds are stable, and they are usable on a day-to-day -day basis. As a daily driver, this build, uh, since the first nightly, actually, as a matter of fact, has been uh, pretty darn good. So you can see right there, it's running the stock kernel that comes with the ROM. Uh... 10 point you know, nightly build right there, Cyanogen Mod Nightly. This is CM10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a step by step on how exactly to install this ROM. Now, first thing you got to make sure you have on your phone is root. You got to make sure your phone is rooted. Uh, I'll go ahead and post the link below on uh, instructions of how to root, and I'm going to go ahead and take you through where to get the ROM and how to install it. Okay, so once you have root, now again, once you have root, you want to make sure that you all you have super user installed. Uh, there is super user right there. Sometimes it'll be SU, but you got to have super user installed and you got to have uh, recovery flash. Now you can do, you can flash recovery uh, manually or you can go into the, the market or the Play Store after you've ro uh, ro rooted your phone, download ROM manager, Okay, I already have it installed. Once you download ROM Manager, if you go into ROM Manager, you can see right here that there's an option that states okay, that states Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. You're gonna click that, and it's gonna you're gonna confirm the phone model, and you're gonna go ahead and flash it. Now, once you do that, boom, you'll have a recovery uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery flashed on your device. Now, once you have that completed you're going to want to go to the web browser. Now you can either do this from your computer and transfer the file to the phone. I would just suggest doing it directly from uh, the phone. Uh, go to get.cm Okay. Um, I'm going to go Again, I'll put the link below to get.cm, the direct link to the uh, area that you will find the ROM CM10 for this specific build. And the build over here on the left hand side, you can see that it says Devices is going to be Mako. Okay, that's M A K O. Mako. You're going to want to click on Mako. Google Nexus 4, and boom, right there. You have the most updated nightly build. Uh, 1 4. Okay, I have 1 3 installed, so 1 4 would be the newest. So, what you do is you're going to want to just click on it, and 
it'll begin downloading it. Now, I'm not going to download this. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys uh, the process. So once that's downloaded, okay, once you have that completed, um, once once you see that it's downloaded and it's done and it's completed, it's gonna it's gonna be put or placed in your download folder. Now you don't have to worry about moving it around anywhere else. Uh, you can leave it in the download folder, and I'll show you what happens then. So now that you have the ROM downloaded from get.cm, you're gonna want to hold the power button. Now you could do this directly from recovery, um, meaning clockwork, doing it from ROM manager. Meaning you can go into ROM manager. There's two ways to do this. Let me show you both methods. If you go into ROM manager. You can see right here that is uh, that there's a option to uh, reboot into recovery. So you can either do it directly from ROM Manager, or you could just hold the power button. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. You're going to have to do it directly from ROM Manager because at this point you're not going to have the ROM installed. So what you're going to want to do is go to ROM Manager, click on Reboot into Recovery. Are you sure you want to reboot? Yes. Push OK. Give it a second. Okay. Now, once you have root, once you rooted your phone, it's going to ask you uh, if you're going to, if you want to allow uh, super user requests for this app. You're going to push allow. Okay. And then just wait a second, and it'll reboot you into recovery right here. Okay. Now, again, remember, you got to have root. If your phone's not rooted, then this whole process is moot. So, uh, in order to get this process, uh, in order to commence with this method of installing this ROM, you got to make sure you have root. Okay, so here you are, now you're in Clockwork Recovery. Now this is Clockwork Touch. Okay, now you may not have Clockwork Touch and that's fine. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, demonstrate this without the touch. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and you know, you can either create a backup of your uh, of your apps via Titanium Backup, or you could just do a complete um, you could do a complete wipe it's up to you. Uh, there's a few SMS restore apps that basically save all your SMS and MMS messages. So you can download that from the Play Store again. It's free. It's called SMS Restore uh, in case you want to do that and then restore all your text messages uh, after you've done, um, after you flash this ROM. So the first thing you're going to want to do is wipe data factory reset. Okay, so now I'm on there. I'm going to click the power button and it says delete all user data, you're going to want to click on yes, okay? Now I'm not going to do that right now, but now you just deleted all your factory, all your data factory reset of your phone. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to wipe cache partition. Yes, you're going to want to wipe the cache as well, okay? After you're done wiping the cache, you want to go to advanced and you want to wipe the Dalvik cache, okay? So once you've wiped the Dalvik cache, again, it's going to say, you're going to go to yes, and it'll wipe your Dalvik cache. After you've done wiping your Dalvik cache, you're going to want to go back here, Okay, and uh, you want to again. You want to make sure that you've wiped data, wiped cache, and wiped Dalvit cache. Now, just to make sure, in my personal opinion, I always go to Mountain Storage, and I also format the data right here, and I format the cache after I've already done the wipes, uh, just to be on the safe side. A lot of times, doing a few wipes is better than just doing one, just to get rid of everything. Okay, so you can I, you can do that, or it's not necessary. But if you want to just be on the safe side, go ahead and go to Mountain Storage, format data, format cache, go back. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is go to install zip from SD card. Okay, and then you're going to want to click on choose zip from SD card. Okay, and then go ahead and find your download folder. Okay, once you found your download folder, you're going to want to go to where the ROM is kept. Okay, or where the ROM is located. Right here, as you can see, there's the 1.3 or 1.4, whatever build it is that you downloaded. And you're going to want to click the power button. On, uh, immediately when you locate the file. And once you do that, it's going to go through an installation process. And then that installation process generally takes a few minutes, you know, no more, no less than a few minutes. Uh, and then after that's done, it's going to take you back to this screen right here. And what you're going to want to do after it says installation complete, you're going to want to reboot the system. So once you reboot the system, at this point, you're going to get the splash screen. And it's going to take about five minutes for it to load up. Everything is going to be a fresh new load, so it's going to install all these new. Uh, well, it's it's basically installing a whole new operating system, so to speak. And you're gonna you're gonna get this splash screen, and then it's gonna take you up to the uh, to the sign in screen, to where you're gonna sign in with your Gmail account. You can do that uh, later on, or I I recommend doing it immediately. Now, once you sign in, uh, once you're done signing in again, as if it's a brand new phone. At that point, what you want to do is you want to let your phone marinate for a few minutes. You want to let your phone simmer. In other words, don't use it because it's still technically installing things, uh, system files, etc. So if you want it to run to its maximum potential, 
Don't play with it for about 10 minutes after you log in or sign in or after the ROM's done installing. And then after that, you basically have the ability to go ahead and do whatever you'd like. Uh, now, it's going to be a fresh install, so everything's going to be brand new. And um, that's pretty much it. At that point, you're going to have CM10 uh, with Jelly Bean 4.2.1 flashed on your phone. Now, again, it has its benefits. Uh, and you want to do this at your own risk. Uh, there are issues that can occur in 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 the in the process of installing this. So you know, just to just to go through the steps again, you want to make sure you root your phone. I got I'll get a link down there that gives you directions on how to root. Very easy process. After root, you want to make sure that you go to the Play Store and download a ROM manager. And once you download a ROM manager, you want to make sure that you <coughs> flash the most updated Clockwork Recovery, which we went through. After you do that, you want to go to the website get.cm, which again I'll list below, and you want to download the updated uh, CM 10.1 ROM for the Nexus 4 Mako. It's called the Mako build. And after you're done with that, you want to go back to ROM manager. Go to Clockwork Recovery or reco reboot into Clockwork Recovery. At that point, wipe your data, wipe the cache, wipe the Dalvik cache, um, and then go ahead and flash the ROM. And after you do that, you want to just go ahead and sign in again as if you've got a brand new operating system loaded on your phone. As if it's the first time you're ever using your phone, you're going to sign in to your Google account or whatever account it is that you have synced to your phone. Uh, and you're going to let the phone sit for about 10 minutes just so all the system files and everything can marinate in. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, there's a quick installation uh, tip how to install CM10 on your Nexus 4. If you have any questions or if you're having any issues with this process, go ahead and ask me, and I'll reply uh, as prompt as possible. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and go ahead and have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.